Hello and welcome back, it's Puzzle Time with Sudoku Sleuth, and today we're playing Equality Cages 108. Now, uh, once you see the puzzle, you'll immediately realize why I've sort of put it in the forest, in a fog, kind of lightly covering most of the Equality Cages. You can see some of them, not really all of them. Uh, I, I assure you that would be fairly clear once you see the grid. Now, I did promise in the past that... Um, Promise, maybe the wrong word, but I did state in the past that, you know, we will go through the entire series. I do left, you know, hate leaving something unfinished. And Equality Cages is one of those phenomenal series. Equality Dots is another. Dutch Flatmates. We've got to sort of just steadily work our way through them. And 108 is next on the list. Um, one more thing to mention. So it's new day, new recording, kind of still reflecting on Sleuth the movie. And thinking, should I have even featured it? I'm not sure. Um, you guys have, once again, thank you to, for your immense support, left largely positive comments. But what I'm probably going to do is almost come back to it at a later time. Have a think around what I could have done better. Because it was all pretty smooth sailing until kind of the halfway point where I just really got stuck with anti-night moves. And I'm hoping just new light, new day, um, slightly less alcohol would mean that I'd be able to spot where I kind of took way too long much more quickly. Right, on to today's puzzle. Onwards and upwards, as they say. So, Equality Cages by 108. Well, Equality Cages 108 by Gobbler. What cages? All I see is fog. You can see two cages. Yes, two cages. Right, rule sets. You guys are going to be familiar with almost all of these. Normal Sudoku rules apply. Place the digits 1 to 9 once each in every row. Column. Column. Yeah. And box. We've got this. Uh, let's come back to equality cages last. We've got crop key dots, which are visible. Let's try again. <laughs> We've got equality dots, uh, so equality cages that are visible. So, for example, if this is a 2, these would have to be a multiple or a division by two. So for example, that could be one, that could be four. As long as in the crop key dot set, one is the, you know a multiple of the other or double of the other, I should say. We also have white dots that are invisible. So imagine that these were not black dots, but these were white dots. To make sure that the two is consecutive with these cells, that would have to be one or three. Not all dots are shown. So you can see there are no dots here. The fact that this is double, you know, the four is double the two, and there's no black dot, doesn't cause any problems. Now, out there in the fog, there may be other things like X's. So let's imagine for a second that this here was an X. Is that even visible? Let me try that again. Let's try red. Yeah, that's a bit more visible, and that was still a two. All that's saying is that these two cells that are joined by an X must sum up to 10. So if that was 2, that would have to be an 8 to make sure that this domino of cells adds up to 10. Um, you're familiar with fogs? So if that was indeed a 2, this would reveal all of the fog around it, allowing us to make some progress. And then lastly, this is why we're all here, it's all about the equality cages. You can just see, just about see that this cage here is almost heading to the left, and also heading to the top. So you can kind of see that there is a cage of some sort that looks roughly like this in here. Um, now imagine that these were indeed three cells that were in this equality cage, and one of them is a two. What you need to be able to do in this equality cage is have an equal number of low digits. So I've got one, two. I'm almost certainly going to have to have another low digit. That could be that. That could be the one. And as a result of this, I've got two low digits, but I also need two high digits. So these remaining ones would be from six, seven, eight, and nine. But it's not only just that I need equal number of low digits, equal number of high digits. I will actually need an equal number of odd digits and equal number of high digits. So six, seven, for example, would work. Six with the two, that's two even digits. Seven with the one, that's two odd digits. Now, it's not a coincidence that I did not include a 5 in any of these examples, because 5 may never be inside an equality cage. Lastly, the digits do not repeat within the cage. 
I mean, in this particular one, given I've highlighted it all in the same box, that really would have been difficult. But had it been any bigger, for example, you still cannot repeat any digits within the cage. So this is, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, refreshing in that it is a one-star difficulty puzzle after yesterday's, uh, yesterday's, this morning's, uh, much, much, much harder puzzle. So I encourage you all to give it a go. And uh, if you feel like finding a quality cages in fog, link will be in the description down below for you to play along as usual. And all that's left for me to do is restart the clock and see how I get on. And I think I get on fabulously when you can place a digit in under 10 seconds. Look at that. Oh, three digits in under 10 seconds. That's a celebration right there. Um, one on a black dot can only ever be connected to a two. Obviously, now that I've already placed the one, this can only be a four. I've placed the two, this can only be an eight. And now let's see if we can use these equality cages. Can I even write in some of these digits? So I need a low odd digit. One is not available, that's just a three. I need a high even digit. In fact, even better. Where does five go in box four? Because I can see all of these cells are not fives and they're in either not five or in an inequality cage, such as this four is not a five. That's the only place a five can be. Um, this is seven or nine. I'm not too sure what these are. This is six, seven or nine. So let's just go with that for a second, which means this has to be a low digit that is not repeating. Um, the two and the six are two even digits. So I need a low odd digit. This is one or three. Okay, let's keep going. What do we have in here? We need a digit that can be on a black crop key set. I mean, something that I always do and I sort of ignored is whenever you have a, a three digits in a row that are connected with black crop key dots that cannot repeat, you always know it is from the two, four set because, you know, black crop key dots are either one, two, four, eight, or three, six. And then finally, there's the last set, which is five, seven, and nine, which can never be on black crop key dots. Now, as soon as you can see three of them, well, you know that they are from one, two, four, and eight. Three of them will always be, if you think of it almost like a number line, you're selecting three continuous sets from here, continuous digits. So it's either one, two, four, or two, four, eight. The one in the middle will always be two, four. What's also interesting is that these three must have two and four. If you notice, as I'm, as I'm selecting my options, one, two, and four, or two, four, and eight. So two and four are not available to this cell. Now, what is available? Three, six are not, four, eight are not, only one and two can. And we know that because of this two, four corner pencil marks, that's the two, that's the one that has to be a high odd digit, seven or nine. In here, we need a high even digit. It's not the eight, that's the six. These two cells, you can see just about kind of half the X and you can obviously see the, assume the other half of it is on this side. Now with tens, you always need obviously at least one low digit and one high digit. The low digits, one and two are gone. So one, nine, two, eight are not available. Now four, six is also not available. So this is forced as three, seven. No other set would do. Can I finish pencil marking this? Do you think? Probably. What are these four digits? So we've done one, two, three. Well, four could go anywhere. Five is definitely in here. Six is done, seven is done, eight could go anywhere, and nine could go anywhere. It's, it's just I don't know what these are just yet, the six, seven, nines. And I don't know what these are because I made a mistake. Excuse me, because that is six. <laughs> these are not six. These are from seven, nine. That's a four. I don't know why I looked at that one and thought it needs another odd digit. Uh, should have thought a bit better about that. Two, four, mm, tempting. Well, let's try that again now. We probably know what these are. So four is on this side, as is, I mean, we can do three, seven. And on this side, we've got four and nine, just Sudoku. 
And then over here, we've got the remainder, which is five and eight. That's looking a bit better. We still remember we've got this two, four corner pencil marks, which gives us the nine, the four. And we know what these two digits are. So this is either one or six in these two cells, which actually seems like they both... I've done this mistake a few times before. Whenever you have an equality cage with two cells and a black crocky dot, they can only ever be six and three. You don't have to spend a lot of time reasoning about that. You need one high and one low digit. So that essentially tells you it's either a four, eight pair or a three, six pair. Now, because you need one odd and one even digit, four, eight doesn't work because they're both even. This has to be six, three, because you've got the even digit and the odd digit, and that's the one. I don't know if I had this from last night, the check pencil marks on. And as a result, it's just giving me tons of red options, which I would rather remove. These are two eights. And to complete this column, it looks like it's five, seven, nine. Kind of a full suite of digits that cannot be next to a black crop kid up. One in here tells me that this is 248, specifically 2 and 8 in this direction. That's a 4. That's got to be a 5 now, yeah, because of the 8s, and that's the 8. Um, could this be 2? And the answer is no. If these are two low even digits, these have to be two high odd digits. And 7 is not available to join the 9 in here. So that's got to be a high digit. That's got to be a low digit. Now I need one high odd digit, kind of to go with the 4, which would be the 9. And then one low odd digit, which is not the 3. This is a 1-9 pair. White crop kid dot away would be the 2-8 cell. Um, can I finish this off? What do I have here? So three, seven, and six are actually all down here. These set are all here, surprisingly enough, which means that's a nine. And I should be able to just write that in. That's a five. I have two, four, and eight in here to complete the row. And I know what these are. This is one, two, three, seven, three, six, and seven, I'm gonna say. So the odd, sorry, the low digits are the three and what must be a two, given I already have six and seven. So that's two, that's one, that's nine. Neither of these are two anymore, obviously. And to complete this box, I have, I mean, the five can never be on an X. If I have a five in here, I'm comfortable writing it. It's not going to reveal anything. That would require a second five in here, breaking Sudoku. So that's got to be the five we know what these are now. This is one, nine. Need two even digits in here. We've got two odd digits. Only even digits available from the options is a six. And then I need another even digit that is a low even digit. I actually don't know what that is. That's two, four. That's two, because one is not available. That would be four. I guess it requires an odd high digit. Nine is not available. That would be seven. So far, so good. That's seven, that's nine. Um, and this two, because three is not available, that would be a one. Now let's just experiment with four. If that's four, that would be two because eight is not available, which still requires a high odd digit. So the seven is always here. And if that was a four, three is not available. That would be a five. Oddly, not resolved. Kind of thought I would be able to resolve it by now. Can I do anything else? What can I see? Am I missing something? I don't think I am. Both work. Two, one, four, and four, two, five. Interesting. Where do I go from here? Have a thing. So what are the five sleuth? Wake up. Right, that's better. One, two, and four. So the only black crop key dot that can go in here from the one, two, four set is an eight, which would require, of course, its partner four, which is not available. So this is three, six. That six tells us the order. That's six. That's three. 
that's now seven, that's three. This has to be a high even digit. Uh, six is not available, that's gotta be the eight. Uh, the remaining cells are one, two, three, four. We need five, nine. I mean, nine we can just place now because of Sudoku. Five cannot be in the equality cage, which this is, and that would be a seven. That has to be a low even digit now. Four is not available. That's got to be a two, which gives us the eight, two. It's there almost from the start. We know what these are. This is an eight, six pair. Six tells us that's the eight. That's the six. Am I going to pencil mark these? Oh, hang on. That says we've got another three, seven set. Again, the same logic that we applied here with the one, two, and six. All seeing this X pair. So one, nine, not available. Two, eight, not available. Four, six, not available. This is a three, seven. That seven tells us the order. Seven, three, not a seven. There's an equality occasion here, which I'm tempted to look at, but I will come back to momentarily. I need a three in here. That's a three because of this three. And then five, I'm going to say. Then we need one. It could be either of these. Four, which is either of these two, just Sudoku. And then nine, which could be any of these. Okay, so not quite that helpful. We know what these two are. At least we can pencil mark them. We need a six and a four. It's not resolved. We need one and two, it looks like, also not resolved. In here, we need three, eight, and five. And the only thing that I can remove is this five from here. Not quite what I was expecting, okay. Um, it really is gonna come down to this equality cage, I suspect. So let's think about options for this equality cage. You need a low digit, which is not three, because you can see this. Any triplets or anything like that I can think of? So not three, triplets. we know that. One with a high even digit is possible. Eights are not available. Six is, so six, one seems possible. Two with a high odd digit. Now we place a two in here. We need seven or nine in there. And apparently both are available. So I'm probably looking at this equality cage a bit too early. Threes doesn't work. Four with a high odd digit. Seems like a lot of options are there. So I am probably looking at it a bit too early. Um, probably more obvious Sudoku that I'm missing. Yeah, such as the fact there has to be an 8 in here, making 8 not available as an option in there, which we already knew, since that would have required a low odd digit, it was only the 1. So 1 and 6 still looks pretty solid. What else do we know? 6s, no, 9s, sort of coming together with a 9 in one of two cells, 9 with a 2 or 4, yeah, so the four with a seven nine looks solid. And again, it's sort of the same path as the two four. And the eight is not available as an option because both of them see eights. So let's just think about columns then for a second, such as this three is staring at a six. These are not sixes. Um, this is not a three either. This is five eight. We need two more, well, Ironically, we've got five, eight in here, so we can just write in whatever the last or the third digit is that's required here. It is, I'm going to say, a four, and that's a five, eight. That removes four as an option. We still have one, six, or two with seven, nine in here. We've got one and two as a pair. Does that remove really anything for me? I said something about eights, didn't I? A corner pencil marked it and then had it five, eight in there. That's five, that's eight, that's three, that's seven, that's three. Come on, does it keep going? Doesn't seem like it. One, that's too many options. That's not five. 
that is a five that's the fog fully gone we've got four nine with an eight that four tells me that's the four that's not a four i've got well one is in here so this is an eight nine that nine tells me the order that's eight that's nine that nine removes nine as an option in here but ironically both one six and two seven still work um, I need a four between these with six or eight. What's going on with six and eight? Depends what this is. Okay. Seven. I've written that in. Six. One, two, one, four, eight, four, six, five, seven and nine. Oh, well, one, nine, one, nine, eight. Seven, I need two more digits. I need a five on, no. I need a two in the cell that I'm in. And then if I've not made any mistakes, seven and the solutions to today's puzzle. I mean, worthy of the nearly 800 souls for sure, Gubbler. Another in your phenomenal series. I mean, I immensely enjoy them always. And um, I think, you know, the difficulty rating, yes, it's, Fairly approachable, you can make lots of logical deductions that gets you to around a 15 minute solve time or under. Um, probably going to look at one of your more difficult puzzles next. Thank you very much for the puzzle. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully that you enjoyed the puzzle, I certainly have, and the video. And see you back for the next one. Bye bye for now.